Hey guys and welcome back to another live stream with Church Deck. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make an announcement video in CapCut which is a free software so anyone can do it. So let's start by getting some stock videos from Pexels which is royalty free so let's do that. Alright so let's find a video for the background. So let's search up nature they have good videos all right let's see this one looks good so let's download that let's download this one as well this one looks nice If the screen is hidden, it's probably so I can hide the files for privacy reasons. So let's find an, two more, I think. This one looks good as well. That one's taking its time to download. Okay. Let's download that. And we need one more. This one looks good as well. So let's go with this one. Alright, they're all downloaded, so let's go back to CapCut and let's add it to the timeline. So here we are. So let's set the aspect ratio first so it's all set. So let's call it. Okay, aspect, this is aspect ratio, so you want 16 by 9, resolution adapted, let's customize it, let's make sure it's 1080 so it's clear, 30 frames per second, that's fine, everything's fine, so let's press save. Alright, now it's saved, so let's add our footage in, so the screen might be hidden for privacy issue reasons, or issues. <laughs> Alright, so let's add these videos in. Okay, the videos have been added, so let's add it to the timeline. Let's add them all to the timeline so it's easier. So, you, you, as you see, just highlight them all and drag them to the timeline. So, as you can see, it, all the videos are on the timeline. They switch between each other. There we go. So, let's make sure all the videos are muted because we don't want any background noise so it's okay they're all muted so half of them don't have any audio except the first one but that's muted as well so let's go now right, let's start with the first one so let's check which one you want as the first one for me personally i would want this one as the first one so i'm gonna drag it to, just drag it to the front Alright, so let's add text. So for this one, I want to put like welcome. So, so it's more like nice for people, like newcomers. So let's go and text template for some nice text. So as you can see, I put these ones in my favorite ones because it, it's good to have it that, like access. So let's go with this one. This text looks nice. So that looks alright, but as you can see the text, you can't actually see it properly, so what I'm going to do is change the colour of the text, so you can do that by doing this, or you can add an outline to the text, so we could do that, let's, let's try out some new different text templates. Oh, this one looks good, so let's change the text. Hmm, doesn't look right anymore. Let's change this to black. There we go. That looks good. Alright. So let's see. Let's change the subheading. Let's call it what your church is called. So 
for this example my church is called Decker Church so let's change that as well let's just go no outline there we go so it looks like that that's good so let's make that longer let's bring in a different text template for the next one This one looks good. Let's go with this. For this one, we're going to put church announcements. Put it right there. And let's go with church announcements. Let's change the font. Because I haven't found a way to change the size of the text. So let's go for a different font. looks good let's go with this one so be like this this looks all right there we go and then it'll fade out there we go now let's cut split the video here so you can do it right click on the video and then split here delete that access there we go and then we keep going here so this part could be the next announcement so let's find a text that might look nice for that this looks good we can add an overlay so it's happening like this so let's change the text first So you can play around with the fonts to find which one suits you. This looks right for me, so <laughs> sorry guys, I just had to clear my foot. So let's see. Hmm. Let's change. There we go. That looks better. No, there we go. That one looks good. So looks all right so actually i don't like the font let me change the font again you could just play around the fonts because you want it to be perfect so let's go with that one and create a pretty line there we go so what i'm going to do is put at the top and I'm gonna put this one on top as well. So it's gonna be like this, but I'm gonna bring this down here. And I'm gonna change this to at uh, whatever time. Let's let's say it's at 11 a.m. So it'll look like this. I think that looks good, just have to make it longer so find the sweet spot. There we go. Just keep it until there. There we go, looks really nice. You could also put the address, you can move this up and put the address at the bottom if you want. But I'm gonna leave it just for the time. So that looks good. So the next video I'm gonna put the next announcement. It's good to keep a, a constant theme during your announcements. So I'm gonna use the same text and just copy it over so like that just, just control c and control v and there we go so now let's change the text so you could put whatever whatever announcement you want so let's just say our church is going to have a all night prayer let's say so and then you can change the time so let's just say it's we could just put the date and at what time it is. So let's say, so we could say it's on fri Friday. So whatever date. So I'm gonna just put a fake date. So, so let's just say, let's say it's on like the ninth of August. Let's 
Let's just see. There we go. So let's see. Let's see how that looks. That looks good. So the text is long enough so people can read it. So you can also put the address if you want. So that looks really good. Let's keep it going. And then let's cut it off as soon as the text ends. So it's swift. So let's delete the access and copy the text again. There we go. And now for this one, you can put your third announcement. So let's say those is early morning prayers at your church. Let's just say let's say it's every day at a specific time. Let's add the same theme as the at. So there we go. That looks good as well. So let's see. Let's see how the nut animation looks. There we go. That looks really good. And then for the last one, we could just add. God bless you. So let's find a text template for that as well. So as you can see, CapCut has a lot of te text templates. So you can, there's a lot to choose from. Let's, let's go with the one we saw at the beginning. So let's go with this one. So let's change the text. really good so that was that looks really good so let's play it from the beginning and see how it is looks really good so that's it you can add music if you want but for this tutorial i'm not gonna add any music for copyright issues so that's that's it for this tutorial hope you liked it thank you for joining us today and subscribe for future content like this and yeah thanks for watching